Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to the Dice Cup. Today I'm going to show you how to play a game called GIF. It is the lead game in the GIF series of abstract games. It plays two players and plays in about 30 minutes. In a game of GIF, you're going to set the board out like this. There are going to be three white counters on the edge of the hex and three black counters on the edge of the hex. It doesn't necessarily matter which way around they are, as long as they're alternate. On your turn in GIF, same white goes first, you're going to add one piece to the board in the following way. You're going to place your piece on one of these black circles around the edge of the board and you're going to effectively push that piece onto the board. So on white turn, white could do that and move effectively, pushing it on that way, move every piece in front of it down one. On black's turn, they could do the same thing. They don't have to just move black pieces, but black could add a piece to the board in the same way. You could add this piece to the board and move these down one. Now, because this row is completely full, you can no longer push the row that way. But on white's next turn, they could place one here and either push that white piece that way or that black piece that way. The aim of what you're trying to do is you're trying to get four in a row. When you get four in a row, you are able to remove yours and possibly your opponent's pieces from the board. The reason for doing this, removing your own pieces from the board, is as soon as you run out of pieces to add to the board, you lose the game. So you're trying to do it in such a way that your opponent is the first person to run out of pieces. Either you've taken a lot of his pieces, or he's got a lot of pieces on the board that he couldn't quite get off in time. Let me show you what happens when you get four in a row. Say it's White's turn at the moment, and White might place his edge piece here on one of these three black discs here to push it onto the board so it creates four in a row. You don't have to push anything onto the board when you arrive on the board, but just following these lines shows you the direction that if there is a push, which way it would go. So say White starts here and pushes his piece on here. White now has four in a row, and White removes all four from the board. If White had five in a row somehow, say White got to a point where um, white push this piece on, so White push this piece on here to make five in a row, White can choose which four to remove. White could remove the first four here, or the last four here. The way to capture your opponent's pieces is to do something very similar to get four in a row, but your opponent's piece will be at the end of the four in a row you create. If you push the white piece onto this position and got four in a row, you take your four off, plus any of your opponent's pieces that are directly touching either end of your four in a row. So you would take these four off, plus that one. The four you took off would go back into your pool of pieces to use, but the black one you removed will be removed from the game. That is one way to reduce your opponent's pieces. If this was a situation, and it was white's go, if white then created four in a row, white would remove four of their pieces, plus three black pieces. But you've got to be careful, because if it was black's go in the same situation, black could push one piece on the end here, effectively moving all these down, black would take four of their pieces off, and would capture three white pieces. You're going to play in that way until one player hasn't got enough pieces left in their stack to add one to the board at the start of their go. In that case, the person who is unable to place a piece onto the board uh, loses the game and the other player is the winner. That is the standard version of GIF, and once you've got used to this particular version, I would suggest you play with the advanced version. In the advanced version, you're going to set it up in a very similar way, apart from you're going to have three special pieces that you start the game with. Rather than one piece in a pile, you're going to have two. So your six starting pieces, the three white and three black one, are all going to be too high. The aim of the game in this case is very similar. You win if your opponent can't go, but you also win if you can capture all of your opponent's GIF pieces. These are GIF pieces, i.e. pieces that are too high, and they work exactly the same as normal pieces. However, if you remove them from the board, you can't add the two pieces back on. So if I lose, if I'm white and I lose this particular piece, black's captured it, or I remove it from the board myself, I no longer have three GIF pieces, I only have two left. So you've got to be careful if sometimes you might need the pieces and you might have to remove them just so you don't lose the game in that way, but it leaves you vulnerable because the fewer GIF pieces you have left on the board means you're closer to losing the game in that way. And that's GIF. It is one of Chris Berm's uh, strategy games from the GIF series, named after this game particularly. It is a deep strategic game and you will uh, 
if you don't think about your moves in advance, you will come a cropper. GIF is being re-released this year, I believe. I think this is getting a reprint sometime around May. So if this is a game you like, come into the cafe and give it a go. And if uh, you really like it, you may be able to buy it later in the year. I think it's currently out of print, but it will be available soon. I've been Steve from the Dice Cup. Thank you very much.